don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football as usual. I'm your host Salasi Fiawoyi. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about Coach Kwesiapi. Apparently, according to sources, the graphic sports newspaper, which is a state-owned newspaper, Coach Kwesiapi is set to remain as coach of the Black Stars. Reasons why I'll be delving into later on. Kumasi Asante Kotoko as well are preparing for the CAF Champions League and are going to offload some integral players including Abdul Fatal Safiu and Kwame Konti. I'll be taking you through the, those lists and the players they've acquired so far. So Kumasi Asante Kotoko are preparing in earnest for the CAF Champions League. Also, I'll be talking to you about Kevin Prince Boateng who apparently after rumors circulated that he was going to be leaving to the MLS or to the Chinese League. Apparently, he has started pre-season training with Sassuolo. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So we all know Coach Kwesiapia was given the mandate once again after failing in the World Cup in 2014. In 2017, he was reappointed coach of the Black Stars and led them to the AFCON 2019. The Black Stars were looking and Ghana were looking to end the trophy drought in this AFCON, which spans now close to 40 years when the next AFCON will begin. Now, Coach Kwesiapia was given the mandate to help the Black Stars lift that trophy this year. Unfortunately, Ghana had a shaky start to the tournament, which culminated in a round of 16 exit to Tunisia on penalties 5 4. And it was quite an unfortunate way to step out of the tournament but it was rumored that if Coach Kwesiapia could not secure the trophy for the Black Stars he would be sacked and he would someone else would be given the chance at the helm of affairs for the Black Stars so Coach Kwesiapia unfortunately he's in a really bad position right now many people are calling for him to step down himself do the honorable thing and step down himself but Till now, after the AFCON, that's what I also thought would happen, but it didn't happen. Coach Kwesiapia is still at the helm, and reports now have more or less confirmed that Coach Kwesiapia will remain Black Stars coach moving forward, at least for an extra year. His contract runs out in December, and it looks like the FA want to give him another extra year in charge, which is quite shocking to a lot of people. The story Graphic Sports said, Originally, a two-year contract was handed to the coach by Kwesin Yantichi administration two years ago and was supposed to expire at the end of the AFCON 2019. However, the shifting of the tournament from January to February to June to July of by Kafri necessitated a contract extension to enable Coach Kwesiapia to lead the Stars to Egypt. While many Ghanaians thought the coach's contract would end at the AFCON, it's now obvious that the former Ghana international will keep his job at least for the next six months. Now, the source said that contrary to allegation by some Ghanaians for the coach rumor, any such decision might also not be fair to the coach since the start did not perform badly in Egypt. They didn't perform badly. Now, it said though the team would not win the trophy as expected. They performed creditably against some formidable opposition. According to the source, the stars were held 2 2 draw by Benin. Who made the quarterfinal drew goalless with champions Cameroon and beat Guinea Bissau to top the to top their group. The source said in the second round against Tunisia, the Ghanaians fought gallantly from a goal behind and went on to dominate the extra time and could have even won the game, but out of hard luck. Now the source disclosed further that for now the head of the Stars technical team and the other quote mass major actors in Ghana's campaign had been asked to submit their reports to enable the GFA to ascertain what actually went wrong. That, it explained, will go a long way to determine the next line of action to be taken by the GFA in the coming days. So, Coach Kwesia Pia, there, his news, that's his latest. And, and I don't know what you think about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Coach Kwesia Pia is not going anytime soon and it doesn't look like he's also wants to step down i don't know i don't know i felt by now he should have stepped down himself but probably 
he wants a payout and uh, it's quite understandable if Ghana wants him out they should ask and uh, take him out December his contract will run out and maybe probably by then we can then ask him to leave the black stars because his contract is over let me know your thoughts in the comments box concerning this the afcon 2019 was not a great campaign for the black stars i have to be honest round of 16 exit no matter how gallantly they perform whether it was on penalties or an on goal or whatever it's still not good enough and i personally thought coach Christian Pia would have been out of a job by now but hey those in charge think otherwise what do you think you are the taxpayers we are the taxpayers your opinion matters so let me know your thoughts in the comments box so i move to my next story and it's about kumase asante kotoko we all know kotoko qualified for the CAF champions league this time around after winning the tier one normalization committee special competition and they are yet to submit their final squad in an attempt to boost or beef up the squad they obviously have to let some players go and they recently released 10 players from the squad and now it looks like they are going to lose some integral players of the last season as well including Kwame Conte who um, resultantly is going to experience the Tunis. Tunisia, Tunisian champions experience the Tunis are close to signing Asante Kotoko midfielder Kwame Bonsu. Now the Tunisian giants have identified the former Gelfe IF star as a replacement for the Cameroon midfielder Frank Kum, who left the club for Qatari side R Ryan SC. Negotiations between the, the blood and go, the blood and gold outfit and the representatives of the player are in advanced stages. I think Kwame Bonsu will play for Esperanza Tunis, a source close to Ghana Soccer Net said. He will replace Cameroon midfielder Frank Kum and he is a better option. Bonsu had a spectacular campaign with the Porcupine Warriors in the CAF Confederations Cup, which saw him earn a call up to the Black Star. So that's there on Kwame Bonsu. Uh, Abdul Fatal Safio reportedly will also be leaving for France. And updates there, you can catch it on our second channel also. Kotoko Daily is another YouTube channel, focuses mainly on Kotoko and their run to the CAF Champions League and the CAF Confederations Cup. If they fail to make it in the first round of qualification in the Champions League, which I hope they don't fail to make it. We want them in the CAF Champions League and it will boost Ghana's chances and probably and help us earn more slots instead of just two. So that's the front on Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They have brought in some new players, George Abege. They have brought in Adringa Musa and they brought in so, so many other players. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think are Kotoko's chances in the upcoming CAF? champions league which starts on august 9th just a few weeks away from today and we hope kumasi asante kotoko do as proud as they did in the confederations cup just earlier this year your thoughts on kumasi asante kotos kwame Quante and abdul fatal safiu who are set to leave the club and more reinforcements are here are coming in what do you think are kotoko's chances in the cup champions league your thoughts are welcome and finally i'll end with former ghana player kevin prince Boateng, who apparently will be staying with sasolo after rumors were circulating that he would move to either the mls or the chinese league the story says that kevin prince Boateng has been linked with a move away from sasolo the number of clubs in italy around the world reports have emerged that fiorentina are keen on the services of the former ac milan player now kevin spent the second half of last season on loan at barcelona where he won a la liga title but has returned to sassuolo after barcelona decided against the transfer making the transfer permanent as he failed to excel he endured a tarry time at barcelona failing to score a goal in four appearances for the catalan club so that's the latest with kevin prince Boateng. kevin prince Boateng is staying at sassuolo we don't know if that will change still transfer window is still open so many transfers going on in europe and the upcoming european season is almost upon us so we're doing some interesting takes on that as well stick to the channel for more amazing th things this upcoming season i've been your host last year we bring you an update on coach Quiziapia. what do you think about that news from the graphic sports that he will remain the coach of the black stars for a while to come and kwame conte and abdul fatal safio 
do you think Kotoko will have enough or get better replacements for those kind of players? Your thoughts are welcome and Kevin Prince Boateng probably staying put in Italy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Yeah.